Damn, my beat going crazy. All right. <laughs> Hello again, world. Round two for today. Uh, good stuff. I wasn't expecting several hours of work to be in between. I was going to try and start earlier, but sometimes work uh, gets in the way. Uh, and I'm pretty certain I don't have any work tabs still open. So if we see any, we'll just have to skip them. I should just close everything and start over. Um... I don't see any unlock. Yeah, it'll be fine. Whatever, it'll be fine. Um, cool. Yeah. So found something weird that I need to try and troubleshoot down. Where for the music videos, I'm trying to have a fade in and a fade out. Fade in's working pretty easily. Fade out, I had some problems with, and I spent some time working on it. Um, and I've been moving stuff around, so you have to bear with me here for a minute to figure out where all this stuff actually is and goes. Um, but on our desktop right now, and I'm going to move these as well somewhere. I'm brain fried already. This is going to be awesome. Also, you can't see that. Okay, there's that. So I want to move, yeah, we're going to move this into our actual scratch pads. We're going to do a little house cleaning. So I was doing dev output files, NASA symbol videos. No, if I make test, no. Okay. Uh, I'm making some video samples also of the transitions that are available in uh, FFmpeg concat the software that I'm using or the app that I'm using to actually mush everything back together. So we're getting a music, we're getting a song, figuring out how long it is. And we're going and get, grabbing clips from NASA or videos from NASA, cutting into clips and then randomly reassembling them. That's kind of the take on this. And then I'm using FFmpeg and cat to do the assembly and it does a few different types of transitions. So I want to see what the transitions are. And so that's what these are. So I started making a bunch of them. Uh, and so I'm just looping over all the transitions at zero to a thousand milliseconds at hundred millisecond intervals. So every 10th of a second. And then from there, from one second to 10 seconds with quarter second intervals, just to see kind of what the, what the thing is. So here's fade at however many seconds this is. So we'll watch it go and you can see. And so basically what I want is to be able to see how these things kind of transition to know, because in addition to doing the random assembly of the videos, I'm going to do random transitions and random length of the transition. So it's random all the way down. Um, but I want to have some, I want to have some idea of what those are going to be. So I'm going to set kind of some, some guidelines and some benchmarks uh, around the around the randomness. Uh, we'll do some waiting too, so that, like I don't want five second transitions to happen all the time. Maybe once every now and then, like 1% of the time, but most of the time I'm gonna want like this basic fade, like this right here, a fade at 300 milliseconds is probably where we're gonna head most of the time. Oh, also I'm covering up the GIF. Ah, don't cover up the GIF. So here's our fade coming up possibly here, possibly now. So that's probably the main one that we're gonna do. So let me close all these. Set slow, I don't know what this is. I need to keep that open for a minute. Actually, we're gonna hang on to that too. six something I am um, uh, so, so I'm just doing oh, this would be a five 
I am not sure that bash. So we're just going to do some housekeeping for a minute here. Um, uh, that's what we were going to do. But that'll drop in the background in a second. Uh, we can close that. Again, I just got off work, so like, but I kind of wanted to get going just to get my head into this game. So we're here. Uh, but what we ran into, was I was trying to do these fades. All right, actually, let me move this into Scratchpad real quick. Sorry, I know what I'm doing now. I've also been moving around the way that I structure stuff. Um, part of me just wants to like get a new computer and start completely over, uh, which is a weird thing. Still have this one, still have it be there or whatever, but then just like slowly but surely only add in the stuff that I want. Um, dev, source files. New folder, so four, this will make second. So that is, these are the files that get downloaded and then these are the clips from them. And what got weird, so that's all good. NASA empty now, fade in, fade out test. That's okay. Get rid of that, that's fine. So here's the weird thing that we have going on. In our scratch pad, FFmpeg scratch pad, here's our bash file. Let's close these out. Let's keep this one open. So this is gonna look at 1.mp4. Okay, so that's the fade in, so that one works. Fade in, fade out, and a single command. So this is the first one that I tried that should have faded in and faded out in general. Didn't work. So then I just went to like a straight fade out test with a different method, which this method, the way that it works is it looks at the duration of the file, gives you the number for the duration of the file, and then you back out and say, okay, if it's 17 seconds, I want to subtract two from it right here. And then I want to do at two seconds, and really it's up here. Where's the, this is the fade out duration. And so you set this offset. So if the video is 15 seconds long and you say, I want it to have a two second transition, the offset number does the math and gives you 13 seconds. So that you know you start at 13 seconds with a fade out and then go for two seconds. That didn't work either. And I couldn't figure out what was up, but finally I started looking at the duration. And what I discovered is dev. Oh, nope, example files. Nope. Source files. MP4s. Small clips. So what was happening is actually let's make an let's make a probe command. FF probe. So here's a probe command. And what this is gonna show us is this video, 1.mp4, is reporting that it is 17.878000 seconds. So that's the duration that we started with, and then we subtracted two seconds, and it gave us, you know, 15 point whatever. Problem is, that's not an accurate representation of how long the file, of how long the video is. So I took FFmpeg, and I just basically ran this file through it without doing anything to the file, which 
causes to re-encode, but just is a straight straight copy basically. Um, with re-encode, so it does re-encoding, but it doesn't like do anything else to it. That's this one underscore re-encoded, which is fifteen point zero four seconds. So that two second fade I was trying to do. So th this is the actual length of the file basically. Somehow it was getting this 17 seconds. I don't know what happened. So I need to try and figure that out just a little bit because I'm about to do a whole bunch of work with these files. And I kind of want to know what happened uh, so that I don't end up, because I want these, I want to have a nice fade out, right? So that's part of the video is fades in, songs playing, songs playing, transition, transition, blah, 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 fade out. Because um, just watching, watching the ones without it, uh, Source files, outputs, is that one? So. Is there music? Yeah. So like, here's an example, but then we get towards the end. Which, that's not actually a bad ending if it ended on the thing, but then it just stops right there. Like it should fade out, fade to black, right? Um. So I need to make sure that that's working or that I can make that work. So I need to figure out how that happened. And so I, I'm back in into this where these are the files. These are the files. Video clips 04. I'm pretty sure these are the files. Well, the two team counterparts half a world away at the rush to guide in the un Yeah, so this this was the file, because if you if you look at one dot mpeg over here, or mp4, whatever it is. Source files, mp4, small clips. Here's one that thing. So this is the this is the source file that that came from. So there's a, a top level source that came from the NASA archive. That got split out into scenes. This is one of the scenes. And then from the scenes, I made a smaller version to do my assembly thing. And I thought I was just going to use it to do this fade in, fade out test. And that's where things didn't go, where things didn't work. So that's where we are. And now, so I just want to see if I can reproduce this. And I'm pretty sure the way that I did this, and I'm trying to get better about actually putting stuff. New file, 06. Make problem clip again. Dot pi. Actually, dot bash. Sorry, that should have been bash. We'll fix that right now. Bash. FFmpeg input. We're going to give it the full path to this file. So NASA video clips 04. And it was two, I think, right? Is the one that we had? Dev source files clips four. It's funny, the order is completely different up here. Two. So that's the file. And so PWC lets me copy a little command we got. And that's scene two mp4. So we're gonna copy that path, drop it in here. And then I th I'm pretty sure what I did to get this file was set a start time. 
So FFmpeg, just in my little notes, clip out part of a video. I think this is what I used. SS and then I think I did SS and T. SS and now we need to see if we can find I want to try and find basically the same thing. Cause I wanna basically I'm trying to see if I can reproduce what happened. So somewhere in here the dude says Moscow. There it is. Moscow. So that looks like that happened. Oh, let me actually do a couple things. Let me look at this scene. There's not gonna be a whole lot of programming. This is all troubleshooting and looking at FFmpeg. So that's not, I. that's just what tonight's gonna be. Um, Cause I need to solve this or I need to understand what's happening with this. So, Let's get that FF probe command again. O four two sixty point zero zero. Okay, and so now we're gonna do FFmpeg input O four two. 0422 reencoded.mp4. So I'm, all I'm going to do is this is just making a new copy of the file, but passing it through the reencode. And so I want to see if this changes the time as well. I'm not sure what that's going to tell me. So this, the the way that this got cut was the initial video got pulled down from NASA. And then I ran uh, a little app over it called Scene Detect that can actually do the clipping. It can actually cut stuff out for you. And I may actually go do that as a test. In fact, I'm going to go do that as a test. Let's go find that video. O four. I found it. I found all the O fours. I'm guessing it's O four three something. O four three. Blah, blah blah blah. Yeah. Why is that executable? Because it. I moved it over from a Windows machine. So here's our probe. Reencode four. So sixty point two. Whatevers. Basically the same. Like, that's not seconds apart. Video stuff is so crazy. Um, okay, so now we're going to clip out... Input 043... Blah, 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 2... Dot MP4. Start second... 32... Time. Ah, I think I did 15 seconds. Yeah, so I, I want to I want to see if I can reproduce this. I want to see if I can make this happen again. Because if I can do, because the reason this is important is in order to do the fade out, you have to do that backtrack thing. Like you have it has the 
the linear progression of the way that this stuff works, you have to go to the end, find the end, and then back out. And so you can look at the duration and back out, but if the duration's incorrect, if the duration's too far in the future, then you miss, when you when you jump back a couple seconds, if it's five seconds too far forward, jumping back two seconds doesn't get you anything. Um, so where's our probe? There we go. So we just told it to do that for 15 seconds. And it's 15 seconds. Ah, see? I don't know how this happened. I really, I can't figure it out. Cause like it shouldn't be off. Like all this stuff went through FFmpeg. Oh, whoops, yes, we want it right, please. There's also gonna be a bunch of looking at these screens tonight as part of the joyous process of transcoding and encoding and recoding and subcoding and mod coding and not coding. So this should also be 15 seconds, also 15 seconds. I just want to see if maybe it had to like, so there's keyframes involved in videos and I'm thinking maybe if it just missed a keyframe somehow. Cause I mean, the other trick is if this isn't reproducible then I'm not sure how to fix it. Or I won't, I'm not sure what a fix would be if it's not reproducible, right? same number every time so it's doing what it thinks it should be doing now I'm going off of the same one And I just renamed it. That's all I did, right? So that's that's the file. So okay, let's actually see. It should be pretty. Uh, Today's operation is to guide in the unpiloted ISS Progress seventy six cargo ship, the Russian. Okay, so we need to back up like two seconds. I want to see, like, I know I used like split seconds or seconds. Eighteen seconds. Yes, yeah, so right. I'm gonna fix that in just a second, so it just does it every time. Do 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 do. Should play the Jeopardy music every time this happens. Okay, it's gonna be one second forward because there's that, that little flash of the. Outside Moscow. Today's operation is to guide in the unpiloted ISS Progress 76 cargo ship, the Russian cargo craft that launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome just two hours and 34 minutes ago to start a celestial sprint. Celestial sprint. So that's the full clip. Let me find, where's the bugged one? So this starts with Moscow, Moscow.
Are you kidding me? That audio clipped. About two seconds out. I must have clipped the audio somehow. Oh, wow. If that's it. So if I clip the audio somehow and that's where it's getting the 15 from, I don't like, I don't know. Okay. So let's see where the, so this starts at Moscow. And it's 18 seconds. Was there a shortest? I may know what happened. Which is good. That's good. Like, shortest. Got it. <sighs> okay, I figured out what happened. At one point, I must have... So there's video... F the video feed and the audio feed are separate. There are separate tracks or separate somethings, streams. Video feed's going. Audio feed's going. They both have their own fade in and fade out abilities or filters. Seems like what happened was I faded out the audio for two seconds on that track, which I thought was raw. And then when you throw the shortest at it, it actually clips the track down to where the first thing ends. So that I think the audio dropped out. And that's what happened, I think. Possibly this is actually what did it. I'm not sure. But now what we're going to do... Oh, I hope that's it. I really hope that's it. All right, we're going to take one of the raw clips back from... Here. And just for a minute, I'm going to throw these in the trash. We may get them back out in a second, but I want to, I want to clear the decks for a second. So is there a copy path? So I know if I just copy it and paste it into iTerm, it pastes the path. But it doesn't work when you try it. Well, actually, let's see if PyCharm does it. Whatever, control C, PyCharm. So our in, so this, this is another way to do this. So you find the in, nope, just the file, okay. PwC 0432. So that's our input. There's your input. Fade in, fade out, single command. Okay. So that seems like a very long number of seconds. I'm just going to run it. We're going to see what happens. Um, so let's make this our command window. Dev. Dev. Thank you. What's down here? It's throwing me off. Okay, you. Also, you. And that can go away for a minute. And that can go away for a minute. And that can go away for a minute. Why are these colors different? I don't know, whatever, it's fine. 
So we're going to go into uh, scratch pads and toolkit. I need to move that. Toolkit, scratch pad. FFM tag test for fade, fade test. Oh, maybe not. For scratch pad. I want to move those right now. Clean up time. Boring stream stuff. We're boring for the stream. This was kind of all over the place. But if I don't spend a little time cleaning it up, it will never happen. So there's this. That's going to go in here. Get rid of that. Come here. Let's just do this. TK. Whoops. TK. So that just means look at it later. I'm not sure what it is yet. The one that we're working on is... Fate test. That went not so. Did I move those? Was that what I moved? Yeah, that's what I moved, okay. Oh good, it saved it when I flipped out. Thank you. I, I'm such a fan of apps that when you jump out of them, they actually um, save stuff. I do not like apps anymore that if you, if you leave them, that they leave stuff at an unsaved state. So I think this should run. And that's 0 02, so we're gonna run 02. Bloop. No such file or correctory. Dev outputs. We should call it FFmpeg fade tests. try. Not surprised it didn't ask me to overwrite. That must be a slightly different name. Fade in, fade out, single command. Fade in, fade out, single command. I don't know why it's not. Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, so here's a three. So this is one of the ones that we had the problem with, right? So Moscow, 34 minutes ago. almost faded out. So I guess it's overwriting it. Oh, I must have had a yes flag in there. Yeah, so I said yes. So just automatically overwrite. That's what that desk, desk Y is. Okay, so. Do we fade in? Oh, it was already fading in. Do we fade out? Fades out. Nice. So that works there. Now, oh, so that was a clip, but what I wanna do now is make another Short clip of that. Again, this is, I just want to, I want to make sure. I think I know what happened. I don't remember doing it and I'm not sure how it happened, but it certainly seems to be what the case was. So one. 
Yeah, 18 seconds, 15 seconds. But I'm getting rid of both of those for now. I'm going to clear the decks on these. Um, and then clip you FFmpeg. We're XX I don't want to. I don't want to list that yet. Um, you had a problem with one of the clips. Oh, actually, you know what I should do. I want to put that back. I want to do that. I want to test that second one. Where's my trash can? Can I just undo? I can. With one of the clips having duration problems that led to fade out not working. But that might have been because you faded the audio on it. Like I'm I'm increasingly thinking that's what it was. And so we're actually gonna do this as a test. That's cool. Okay, that's fine. So next test is just gonna be this is the one that was failing. So we're gonna do this. So Oh, actually So we're going to change this to 2 I'm going to do a three second duration. Three second here. Whoops, not 13. Three second in. Three second out. And then audio is going to be the same. Three second in. Duration three seconds and then start time is going to be that offset map audio map video backwards whatever all right so now if we run 03 so there's our clips let's get our output directory up here too. Oh, that was it. Dev, or at least close to it. Outputs, FFmpeg fade tests. There's three. Still in progress. Okay, give that a minute. Have a drink on yourself. Blah, 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 blah. Duration 15 seconds, offset three. Okay, so that's the good numbers. Because I think that clip is 15 seconds. I hope. Open 03. Please work. 
All right, black screen to start with. That's a good sign. Three second fade in. Guided automatically by the core's automated rendezvous system. That worked great. Continues its fly around of the internet. And the line itself with the pure docking compartment. All right. That's cool. It's working the way it's supposed to. So yeah, so that had to be what happened. I want to actually, I want to test it and see if I can prove that that's the case. So the way that we're going to test it is we're going to go to our desktop on this one because I don't want this stuff in the mix. Um, FFmpeg audio clip test. So this could be the raw. I just don't know how I clipped the audio. But I want to I want to see if this does it. Yes, it will. Okay, this is exactly what happened. FF Probe was giving me the right duration for the video and, and the audio. But So when it went to shortest on the track, that's when it dropped back. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Um, let's, let's see if we can prove that, though. So we're going to go to our desktop. We're going to go to FFmpeg audio clip test. Yeah, it was the two seconds that it cut. that we don't need that we don't need that I want to rename this to two step process So make a completely new file here because I don't want to mess with that one. Save that. We're going to save that into our desktop. FFmpeg audio clip tests. Zero one. Clip audio. Bash. Was it raw.mp4? So we're just going to call raw.mp4. Clipped audio.mp4. I don't know what to do here. Fade out. So in the video, we actually don't want any filter happening. I don't know how to do this. I'm going to put these at zero. Oh, actually, we can just do this. Maybe. Fade in duration zero, whatever. Okay, F audio type fade in. We're also gonna do zero. 
duration out start time offset audio go okay let's just see if this works and part of this too is just i'm trying to understand a little bit more about this stuff right um mod user plus execute oh one go boop 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 so it's doing something that's a good start I'm going to get copyright struck from YouTube for whistling Jeopardy. And I have, uh, not talking heads. Um, who did whistling in the dark? They might be giants in my head. Which is fine. I like that song. Uh, I'm tired of wearing these headphones. I've been wearing them for way too long today. So we're going to check this. Clipped audio. So it should just fire right up, right? Guided automatically by the Corps automated rendezvous system, the progress continues its fly around of the International Space Station to align itself with the Pierce docking compartment. Hang on, I want to force this even farther just to prove the point. So we're going to exaggerate. So offset, we want to start eight seconds back. And the duration's only going to be three seconds. So that should really cut out the audio. I really hope this is what it was. I oh, like I'm, that audio clipped out at two seconds, right? It cut down. So like, probably this is it. And it makes sense. Shortest was in there. Yeah, if I'd taken out shortest, it probably would have worked. Okay. Oh, but now I'm gonna have to figure out, ah. So when I'm making the video clips, or the, the assembled videos, I'm making them longer than the MP3 file so that I've got space to make sure that, because if, if the video ends early, the MP3 stop, gets cut. And what was happening originally is I was I was doing calculations on the videos for the assembly of the clips, but I wasn't I didn't realize or I wasn't thinking about the fact that the transitions make the things slightly less long. Uh, so like if you've got a two second video and a two second video clip and there's a one second overlap, you really only have three seconds of video instead of four. Um, and so one of my videos, the song it got clipped, and that's where some of this started. But now I've just realized the same thing's going to happen here, where if I make the video way long, and I put the fade at the end of that when I'm doing it, it may, it may go down. It may not. We'll have to see. I just realized music was going in the background. Hopefully it wasn't so loud that I'm going to get yelled at by YouTube. I should kill Spotify. Goodbye, Spotify. Uh oh. Guided automatically by the automated rendezvous system, the progress continues its fly around of the internet. There's our audio fade out. So now, let's see if we understand what's happening. FFmpeg, input, clipped audio. Test output dot mp4. Mod user plus execute o2 do it and do it 
Oh, I needed shortest in there. Or did I? I don't know. Now I'm confused. I may be confused. Let's see what happens. No, I'm confused again. But that had to that had to have been it. Like the audio track clipping out had to have been it. But I didn't have I didn't have shortest in all these. I don't know. I'm I'm less I'm less worried about it because I really think that's how that happened. That's still 15 seconds. How long was the first one? Okay, so that didn't edit it. But now let's go through... Ooh, I don't want to touch these. Don't touch those. Bad, bad. Don't touch. But let's save this as 03. Reprocess. Clipped. And so we're going to process clipped audio. I don't think it's going to do it either. Like I really don't know I really don't know how it happened. But I like that seeing that audio go. Saw that on the trash can. <laughs> I shouldn't have thrown that away yet. Uh trash can. Whoops. Oh hit the wrong button. Or it went too far. Need to turn that off. Right, it's on the desktop, whatever. Oh, it's still making it. Here, we can do this while it wait. I'd Moscow for Cosmodrome just two hours and 34 minutes ago. That has to be it. I wish there was more going on that we could actually watch and see stuff does the probe call have shortest in it no duration i don't know i don't know still 15 seconds Uh, that has to be it. Like, it just, it has to be. So this is 18 seconds. I, Moscow. Today's operation is to guide in the unpiloted ISS Progress 76 cargo ship, the Russian cargo craft that launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome just two hours and 34 minutes ago. Okay, that woman... Does a look, does a look, and she moves her foreheads there. And it's 15 seconds. Like, that's gonna be it. Because I'll bet this, this should clip at that exact same time. Moscow. Today, at 
34 minutes ago. So she looks around. Yep, there she goes. She puts her forehead right there. Right there. The only trick is why did that happen? I couldn't, I, I don't know why that happened. But I'm less concerned about the whole process falling down now, which is nice. I do still have to process out and make sure, so I'm, I'm okay getting ready, 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 ready of these, ready of these, rid of these, letting them go. I'm gonna store that in the trash for a little while. All right, okay, that's good, that's good news. So, now the question is, can I, or how do I, take a video that gets assembled and add music to it while adding the fades to it. So with this, I can take one of these fade tests. Which I'm not going to move yet. Um, small clips, get rid of that. I think I'm just going to get rid of these for right now. NASA transition tests. See, sometimes these are source files and sometimes they're output files. So like, um, I should just call it storage, which I think I've done in another place. Um, but like source files is fine for right now. So let me get one of them. which is going to be somewhere. Assembler, smoke test, test, no. There's a, oh, it's in my scratch pad, which is in toolkit, which is in scratch pad, which is in FFmpeg. These things make samples, circle open. So. Doesn't really matter, but we're gonna do a fade of one second. Also, I'm actually going to move these now. Again, cleaning up. So this is a bunch of cleaning up stuff. Um, kicking around, cleaning up, seeing what's happening. Uh, oops, did you do that? Data, dev, dev, source files. Nope. I was going to try and do a capital. File storage. I kind of don't want this in the dev directory, though. I kind of want it to be its own thing. Um. All right, we're going to play for a minute. I want to see... See, the only thing is I don't like having it be like dev underscore storage because then when you go to like tab into dev, you have to hit a second thing. And I don't necessarily just want it called storage, even though I've got, so there's desktop storage. I need another thing. Where do I want to have samples. 
No, because it's inputs and outputs. Code storage? No. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna leave it here. I'll mess with that later. I was if so if I can solve stuff with that, that's cool. But like, I'm down a rabbit hole on it. Another thing I've gotten used to is being okay with like moving stuff and like stuff is gonna break. Oh, I need to move all my credentials into uh, Keychain now that I know how to do that. What if we do dev storage? But put an underscore in front of it. Just storage? Yeah, maybe just storage. Okay, we'll do that. That'll be fine for now. Now I gotta go ahead and move all this stuff or it's never gonna happen. Yeah, this gets my, my dev directory cleaned up. I like that. To sort. <laughs> I'll do all that later. We don't need to do that on stream. I just wanted to find the place. So storage is going to be it. Slash or home storage. Home storage. There you go. So new. This is going to be FFmpeg cat transitions cat transitions fine okay that's fine and we're just gonna edit this right now to point to the right place just so that when we run it it'll run this is the most entertaining stream ever sorry about that um but like this is part of it right this is getting it all moving um storage yeah i like that okay yeah okay i like that a lot PwC. Okay, yeah, that's good. It's its own little world. Source one. Da 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 da. Output. Output path. This. There we go. So when we run that. It should work. And let's just get rid of that. So I don't mind putting the source files in there if they're small. So now we need to do another fade transition thing. Um, fade in. Let's go ahead and rewire these. Just, uh, yeah, put it in a one. We'll have a couple different files that we can play with. Um, nope. Oh, yeah. Grab 
Grab that directory. So input, we're gonna find in a second. Fade, start time three seconds. Oh yeah, so we're gonna make some notes here. I don't mind one little file. How big is it? Are those files? Ah, the other thing we should do is put storage up here. So we can get to it. I like this. This is good. This is good. I like this. Storage. How about we look at it like normal? Transitions. How big are these files? Ooh, 9 mag. Yeesh. Um, that's fine. They'll be there. Uh, yeah. So they'll. I don't want to overthink that. Um, PwC fade one thousand MP four. So that is where we're going to give our input. Can I run that from here? It certainly looks like it. Oh, the other one I want to check is FFmpeg quiet. I think you do log level error is what I saw on something else doing. Log level quiet, still not quiet. Hide banner, log level panic. Log level warning seems to be le better than log level panic. See my comment, or see comment. Okay. 128, 135, this is cool, I like it. I'm actually just going to run this again real quick. I want to see if that works. Why did it do two things? I do like seeing some progress, but like... I just wanted to see. So there's times when I'm doing it like on the command line where I don't want to have it. And that's super handy to know and have. I think it's still going. That's the only trick with it is you don't have any idea. Cool. Um, whoops. Just put that in the notes. Possibly warning. Let's see the comments in the post. I'll look at that later. I don't need to dig into that right now. We got this, so let's go check and see our output. Where did our output go? Fade tests. Oh, one. Basic fade in. Right. I, Moscow. Today's operation. There we go. Is to okay, guide cool. In the unpiloted ISS progress guide. Cosmodrome just two hours and 34 minutes ago. Guided automatically by the Corps' automated rendezvous system, the progress continues its fly. That audio transition was weird, but I don't need to worry about that because I'm kicking the audio out. Okay, O2. Fade and fade out with a single command.
let me actually run this. This is the shortest. That's where I thought things was messing up, but. So dev source files. Okay, so we're gonna pull. We're gonna pull those files here real quick. When I find that. Actually, when I find this. So to sort, file storage, NASA video clips, NASA videos. Get rid of transition tests. Let's move all these up and then we get rid of file storage there. Outputs, fade tests. We're actually gonna get rid of those because we're doing those. And then NASA videos assembled, we'll keep there. So we can get rid of this. Example files. We'll deal with all those later. I want to get better cuts on those. So storage, we're going into NASA video clips. We're going to 04. Yep, we're just going to do two again. This will take a little while to process, but that's okay. I want to see this go. Please let this work. Yeah, storage. I like this. Okay, let's run this and see what happens. Because the, the trick that I'm going to need, to, once I get this solved, like I want to solve this one time and not have to worry about it again. But once I get this solved, the next thing is going to be to figure out how to do this at the same time that I'm putting an MP4, MP3 file on top of it. Which I guess I could do as two separate steps, but I kind of want to see if I can do it as one. I don't know if that fade was it or not. Oh, I need to find something. There's a fade out. Now I just need to figure out how it did the math to do that. But the first thing I want to do is I need to find one that shows me the fade in. Uh, so we need to find... So we can leave that there. I need to get better at sorting windows. Package, package lock, that's kind of weird. Um, NASA clips, we can go look at four again. I think one of these, that's 26 meg, that's 14 meg, six meg. Is that last one? 13, okay, let's look at this. So this has something at the start. Oh, it actually faded itself out. Never mind. Okay. Ooh. That's kind of weird. So let's push this in instead, which is really just going to be changing the number to 31 MP4. 
All the rest of that should be the same. What do you want? Save. Okay, let's run that. I just want to see... So that other one had a... The NASA logo was fading in already in the video before we did our fade in. So this will be doing our fade in and seeing how that goes. That's the theory anyways. Processing, processing, processing. I've never heard the song before because this player is not the greatest at random. Ooh, this is taking a while. Hope that's a good sign. Yeah, so. Or do I even worry about that? Like, well, so as long, A, I got it, the fades in. And then I guess I can overlay the videos just next. Let's see if this works. There's a fade. There's a fade. Why is that in there? Doesn't need to be there. So the other thing I want to do right now is FF MPEG fade. Fade in, fade out. That is what was throwing me. The audio is fading out. Yeah, okay, whatever. You had some problems with the file that seemed to have its audio cut short. And then this wouldn't hit the fade properly. All right, the two-step process. And like, I know these work, but this is me getting it set up so that my, so when I come back to it, it's in good shape. And so I wanna do this same file for the input output so that I can see what's going on with it. And our output is going to be this. Two step. Fade in. Out. So run this. Yeah, so the assembly happens. Oh, I've got the full video. Yeah, I may have to, I may just have to process this a few different times, which will just take longer. Um, but I'm there's like there's probably a way. No, because the assembly of the video is gonna be longer than the MP3 file. You won't know. I mean, I guess I could get the duration of the MP3 file and back off that way. Well, I have the duration of the MP3 file. 
already. But I don't think I have a very accurate timestamp on it. But I could still use that to fade out like three seconds. And then do shortest. That may work. Uh, downloader, I want to redo something on. Splitter. I kind of want to actually run. I don't know why I didn't run. On the splitter. I ran scene detect. I don't know why I didn't actually have it cut the scenes. I don't remember the reason. Because it's just issuing FFmpeg commands. I just don't remember. I really don't remember why I'm not I'm not doing that. I may flip back to that and just kind of redo some stuff. But this is working fine. Like, oh, I remember what it was. Originally, I was going to potentially cut down the scene. Yeah, I, I, I changed my view on this originally. Um, pretty sure the reason I should have taken better notes on this. So taking notes now, right? Pretty sure the reason you didn't have scene detect do the split was because you were thinking you'd issue the FFmpeg commands limited to 10 seconds because I don't want the things to be longer than 10 seconds um, but that doesn't that actually wouldn't work because of the way that I'm doing the assembly I'm looking at the CSV file that scene detect says and looking at the metadata basically. And if the metadata says it's longer than 10 seconds, it ignores the video. So even if I made the video 10 seconds to start with. So another process I wanna run is to go through all the files, look at the ones that are longer than 10 seconds and then cut them. So yeah, I, I could actually, I could push scene detect in and have it actually cut the files. Hey, I just woke up. Uh-oh, alien. How's it going, man? I'm still tweaking my uh, my video thing here. Like it's up and running and working, but now it's the now it's tweak time. And I'm trying to figure out. So this would go. This would let me get to it faster because right now scene detect is running through all the files before. So it's going through all the files and making the CSV files. It's a metadata about where to do cuts and then going back and doing all the cuts. But there's so many videos it hasn't yet, it's been running for a day and it still hasn't gotten to actually cutting the videos down. And I need the videos down before the assembler works. Uh oh, yeah, that's no good. Um, little allergy drip or whatever they call it. I had that, I took a Claritin and that helped a tremendous amount, but I think it's starting to wear off. Why is that also, over? there we go. Okay, I was kind of concerned there for a second. So for commanding full commands, run. Yeah, and if I went back, 
and start it over, it would have to do all the... Yeah, I'm just gonna... We'll, we'll roll with this and we'll see what happens. Um, I'll just leave it running overnight. I'm gonna stop downloading new videos, though, because the thing gets a little bit freaked out if a new video shows up and it hasn't seen the, the CSV file for it yet. Um, also, I, it's already taking a long time, so... Um, but let's finish getting these fade tests done now that I've done that. So this one was going to be fade out for three. I spent a long time. I edited a file apparently, and that made the fades not work on it. See, there you go. Fade in. Fade out. Sweet. And I spent a long time trying to track down what's going on, and then finally I figured out, I think somehow I edited a, the audio file of it, and the video file then shrunk to the size of the audio file, basically. So when I tried to put two seconds at the end of it, the video had already shrunk more than two seconds, so you didn't see the transition happen. Um, that was half today, uh, which is, you know, that kind of stuff happens. So this is the same thing as two, I think. Yes, it is. Like, exactly. So we're going to just delete this one. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, um, whatever. I can look at that later. Make problem clip again. Yeah, I wasn't able to do that. That's fine. I'm going to get rid of that. So I've got I've got two things at work. So I'm good. I'm good. Get rid of this. What's this one? Video fade in. Okay, that's a super basic fade in. That's fine. Delete that. Delete that. Okay, so there is the single pass, and here is the longer pass. No, wait. Okay, there's a two-step. I freaked out for a second. I thought I'd delete something. Did this go in the trash? Oh, I almost killed it. Oh, they don't go in the trash. Where do those go? They just disappear immediately? <gasps> that sucks. Oh my god, is that really what's happening? That's not good at all. I don't like that. New file. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, whatever. Okay, yeah, sure. Do it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So, delete. Save delete is not available by PyCharm updates indexes. No uses will be checked. What is going on? Victor! How goes it? Weird monolith. I'm into that. Teens are found a strange object. 10, 12. Oh, good lord. Embedded in the ground and rip butter rock. It's probably art, official says. No. That's awesome. It was not a sheep. What? <laughs> At the base of a barren hook, a team is counting bighorn sheep by helicopter and spotting something odd and landed. Okay, that's a pretty good lead. That's a pretty good lead. I like that a lot. That's pretty funny. Right? 20, 2020. Um, well, so what was the... But they they didn't do the dimensions the same because in 2001 the dimensions were one by four by nine, and then the square roots were one by one two three or whatever. Um, 
Yeah, 2001. That's it. Yeah, so... Um, I think it was... I think it was one... Yeah, 149. The squares of which are the first three positive integers. Oh, 1968. That's incredible. That was a long time ago. That's like, yeah, that's so, so cool. It's a really neat shape too, right? That, that particular dimension. And like, you know, Arthur C. Clarke or whatever, I'm sure just loved every, the math of it or whatever. Oh, the, oh, oh, okay. It's the same as in the film, but the book is 149. Uh, okay, I gotcha. Three-sided. That, how do you make it? That's a triangle. That's not a triangle, is it? Or is it a triangle? Also, there's a top, so that would be four sides. But now we're getting picky. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, we get a little video of it? Oh, I can't play it. That'll YouTube will get me. Oh, it is. A, okay, it is a triangle. There you go. That's awesome. I love it. Three sides is a triangle. Yeah, yeah, see, okay. Also, I mean, what's the name for the triangle that has a top and a bottom? Like, it, there's a thing for that too, right? Um. Because can you actually have a three-sided thing? Because you can have a pyramid, which has three sides, but it also has a bottom. Is it possible to have something that just has three sides? Like, completely? I feel like the answer to that's no. Black marker. Oh, dead space. I don't know this. <laughs> I have to sneeze. Hmm, that's cool. I don't want to read that because I may like that at some point and I don't want to spoil it. Oops, cover chat. How can you have a... Well, yeah, three sides, but like the I'm counting the, the base, right? So like, yes for the sides, but like... One, two, three, and there's got to be a four because you can't. I mean, I guess a triangle is three sided, but there's no, there's no. That's only two dimensional thing, right? Is it? Here's a question: Is it possible to have a three dimensional thing with only three sides? I think the answer is no. I'm not sure. Um. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Because can you have a two in a two dimensional space? Can you have something with two, only two? Well, it wouldn't be connected. I don't know. I just broke my brain. I can't get into that right now. Let me see if I can delete this file and where it goes. That's really what I want to do. Delete. Save delete with usage search. Search in comments and string. Delete the file. But if I delete it, like, it does not go to trash. I don't like that at all. I mean, I should be throwing stuff in a Git repo anyways, but still. Oh, a sphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That's actually, I think that was a good movie, wasn't it? Was sphere a good movie? I can't remember. Or am I thinking of Event Horizon, which is a very different thing, but there's a kind of sphere thing in it. I don't remember. Uh, Alright, so we got this. So we got our fade going. I'm not sure how much 
more actual stuff I'm going to do tonight. I might just play around a little bit because brain had work today and I was not expecting that to be as long as it was or as tricky as it was or as hectic as it was. Is Hypercube in like the, so there was Cube and then like Cube Tube is Hyper, is, was Hypercube the third one? Because if it is, yes, that was a weird one. And you should watch the first two if you haven't seen the first two. I think they're a different tone, but um, but they're in the same vein. The first one was like one of those movies when I first saw it. It was just like, what is going on? Opening scene is fantastic. Uh, make file name from URL. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with a downloader right now. The splitter is going to do its thing. Downloader is going to do its thing. I guess what I could do... I'm really not sure how much I've got in me right now. Assembler, assembler. Let's get back to the assembler. Hey, assembler. All right, so we're making... Here's, here's what makes the MP3 file. Yeah, exactly. It's just like... Instant death. Yeah, that's it. Just like... Whoosh. I bet that's on YouTube, but I can't play it. Also, because I'm gonna get banned for Twitch from that, because it's kind of gross. But I mean, it's not gross, gross, but like, ooh, oh no, destruction. Um, all right. So this is this is where we build our concat command. We're just joining the list. So here is also where we need to make start making the JSON file. That's gore, yeah. Yeah, I mean when you cube somebody. Uh all right, so now okay, here's here's gonna be the trick. How do we wanna do this? They're probably better than we are, like better people than we are, like better, <laughs> better humans or better, uh, better with themselves or whatever, not uh, awful, <laughs> better by not being awful. Uh, let's see, where do we get into this? I don't, I'm not as happy with all this code, but it turned out to be what it is. Um, so the first question is, where does this actually get run? Because if it's run, well, if it's run for main, it's in the same directory. You should be able to give it a JSON file path. So Oh, I kinda want this project to be over. <laughs> uh MP3 file. And this is another random thing, so I don't know like if this is really a testable. A testable thing. Oh, return concat command. Oh, okay, so I actually have to build it when I'm doing. Run concat command. No, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this just has a single a single thing for it. So it's gonna do its concatenation. And then ffmpeg command is what overlays the audio. And then you get rid of the temp file. <laughs> right? 
Uh, did you ever see Galaxy Quest? If not, that is a that is a good film. I recommend it. All right, this code's all gone to boogers, so I'm just gonna do it this way, anyways. Um, so there's your concat command, and then. Do I have a number countdown bloody blah, blah scene list? So self build concat JSON with scene list with length of scene list. F build JSON star length alien G DH pass length equals length of scene list. So, and yeah, again, like there's not a great, there's not a great test on this. Mushko, yeah, it's this, I'm not, I'm not digging this at all. It's kind of all over the place, but I fell out of it. Um, I just, I kept getting wrapped up in trying to do the randomness and the file system stuff. And then that just took me off course. Um, also, I'm not the greatest at uh, TDD, so it's practice. It's getting better at it, but yeah. Um, doing doing random stuff just like this should have been kicked out like there's all kinds of stuff uh, and i thought about doing some refactoring but yeah so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna keep making it worse um so whatever transitions is gonna be that uh For I in range of one to length LN GTH, why is that not happy? There you go, because I spelled it wrong. LN GTH, right? Append A dictionary with name fade duration four fifty, whatever. And then so with open Transition S I T I O N S transitions dot JSON write as JSON file uh, JSON dump JSON file. See, like, there's not a good way to test this. Really, I mean, I guess you could make sure you got the right number or whatever, but like. Oh wait, I did that backwards, right? You pass it the data you want and then the file. Import JSON. Uh, Galaxy Quest is fun. That's a good one. Uh, it was fun a long time ago. I, I don't know if it holds up. It probably does. Um, 
I've, it's been a few years. I've watched it a few times, um, which I don't watch very many movies multiple times. Um, but it's it's pretty fun. Um, if you're at all a fan of Star Trek, uh, for example, you will get a kick out of it. Um, or be enraged by it, one of the two. All right, so there's our transition set, Jason. And then in our concat, we pass it T transitions that JSON. So there's that. Uh, config dev. Oh, I think I just moved all this stuff. Oh, smoke test, MP3 files. Nope, they're still there. Hyperspeed. Okay. And then we're going to the output. Uh, clip root is there. Cool. Hyperspeed temporary. Oh, I must have stopped it in the middle, maybe? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. These are all different places now. Let me get rid of these. It's all confusing me. So, pull this up and go to... Uh... I just made a new, like, storage directory for holding on to stuff to deal with inputs and outputs and all that jazz. Um... Make their NAS assembler smoke test. I think I'm on the assembler, right? Yes. Uh, where am I going? And then output videos. And then we can pull all that stuff down. Dev, assembler, smoke test, clip files. This should have, yep, okay, cool. I just want to get all this stuff out of the, out of the repos. Um, I haven't committed it, but like, I just don't want it there. And I'm trying to get better at like having stuff sit, pushed out basically. Um, and also it's helpful too, cause sometimes it's like, I want to have the output from one thing be the input for another. Um, but normally I'm doing, I think I'm going to start doing what I'm doing here, which is like move it into like a smoke test thing, but I can actually have all the stuff there. So if you need to go grab it, it's like, Oh, everything's right here. That's the theory. Anyways, we'll see how that works. So first theory, storage, NASA, assembler, smoke test, source MP3s, PWC to copy it. Here's our MP3 root, boop. Uh, source clips, you see. Oh, actually, I can do this a different way, right? I can do PWC. I added this to it, so I can copy it that way. Like that. So if I run this, it should run. Let's see what happens. So this is doing all the clip assembly or it's determining all the clips. Now it's assembling all the clips. Actually, stop. Stop, 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 stop. I wanna do two things. One forty forty eight. Yeah, let's make that forty seconds longer. So I need to overrun the video by like forty or the audio by like forty seconds to deal with clips coming in. And I want to adjust the clip duration to 
one second. And let's pick a different... Circle open, how about that? What does this look like, one second? Like that, which we don't want to use very often, but I just want to see it. I want to make sure really quickly that the JSON is really doing its thing. So that will help us. So circle open, JSON, go. Come back here, come back here, come back here, go. And now we wait. Possibly, ooh, got one more, look at that. That is kind of warm right now. That's okay. Oh, I'm covering up the GIF. With a satellite. Yeah, the um, the latest GIF that I got is kind of fun. I actually got it from these NASA things. You may have seen it. If you haven't, it's worth looking at. Where'd he go? this way here's my latest gif it's very where my head's at right now uh okay so that's cool is this still running Okay, so I've got this. So this is this will do the transitions. If this works, which I think it might have already worked. I'm not sure. Then I just need to do the fades. And so I think what I could actually do is just... run just rerun the file so i could try i could try and actually do everything in the single ffmpeg command which i may do at some point but like i don't know how much time i want to spend on that oh i know what i was gonna look at so i could get the duration yeah so where's the duration how i could just look at the mp3 duration Pull that down and use that for the fade point. I think I'm gonna try that. I really should print out logs on this, is what I should do. I gotta get better at that too. This is all still new to me, so. Room for improvement. I wanna get my base template kind of set up for this stuff, so I've got like, you know, here's the config stuff, here's the log stuff, here's your basic structure that just has all the, the framework ready to go, which I know there's an app called Cookie Cutter out there that I think does all of that. So where's the ffmpeg command get made? It's right here. So we could just take this. Oh, that does the shortest. No, you can't do it here. You, you gotta do it another step. 
Oh, no, you could do it here because that's how you would set up the fade because you'd look at the duration. You need the duration as the thing. You got to find the endpoint. But if we know the endpoint of the duration of the MP3 file, even if it's not set up or even if it's not down to the millisecond, we should be able to do it. Oh, there we go. Process finished. Zero. Uh, assign it. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Bring up another window. Storage. Smoke tests. Output videos. Hyperspeed. Survey says. Yes, yeah, so he needs to fade in. Yep, there's our circles, so it's definitely pulling off the, uh, there's my chicken. Chicken again. Chicken freaking out. It's not a bad ending. But yeah, it needs, okay, we need to, it gotta have the fades. Fades are critical. All right, so let me pull this. So this is how we're doing it. Where's the scratch pad? We're gonna go 04 fade with music. Bash. So this is our base command. It's a very interesting little tune. Whoops, CDLL, CDLL. So we're gonna grab, our input is gonna be fade. So what do I need? Do I have like 10 seconds in here? Ten seconds. And then Oh, interesting. I was not expecting that to be different. Um PWC always whatever. It's a very long name. That's okay. But we're going to do this so we can see it. It's a very long name. directory here slash fade with fades with with music mp4 ow all right so let's just test this like a tone test just to make sure we know what it does so this should just make a quick little file for us. With music. Yeah. Did 
it doesn't I don't think it has fades on either side, right? Yep, okay. And it started without a fade, right? It started yeah, okay. So now we see if we can add the fades in. Oh goodness. Um See, this is where I could do it. I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to try and do it all in the same command, right? Because we know the duration. Oh, I don't have to probe. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can just do this. I can just get this. And let me see if I can pick out all the parts that we need to have here. Um... So this looks new. I don't know if it matters that there's not a space there. It probably doesn't, but we're gonna keep it as is. So if we just do this video complicated thing. But this deals... So this is the original. I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose this. Copy that. What are the odds that this works? Hey, it works. Nice. Attempt one. So filter com so after our inputs. I'm gonna do it after the video input. I don't know if that matters. Mm, probably matters. Also, I added that I, right? Yeah, I did. Filter complex. Just paste all this stuff in there to start with. Video, fade, duration three for in. Fade type out, duration three, start it. And so let me actually make these four and four. I just want a real clear fade. Time start, so that was 20, how long was that video? Doesn't tell me. 20 seconds. So time start. Oops. I don't know why that's in quotes, but we're leaving quotes. 15 seconds, because we want to see it real clear. That should have a second of black at the end. And this is also going to be 15 seconds. Uh, all right, let's see what happens. Filter A fade has unconnected output. Okay, so let's just get rid of all that A fade stuff, which is the audio fade. which goes to that A, so that's cool. All right, so we can probably take out that semicolon. He says, paranoid. Filter fade has unconnected output, okay. Zero V zero map. So 
Stream copy requested for output stream zero, zero, which is fed from filter complex. Filtering and stream copy cannot be used together. Okay. Oh, something's happening. Let's see. Oh, it starts black. That's good. Okay, it just needs to end well. There's our fade out. Ha, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Nice. Ooh, what had to happen right there? I don't know. Fade in and out with MP3. That is awesome. Uh, new file, readme. NASA video assembler. It combines a video with an MP3 file with fade in and out. Okay, so let's, I'm going to put that in place and then I'm going to call it an evening. I hope is what I'm going to do. So NASA assembler. So FMPEG command. Temp output path. Final output path. What? Oh, 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 okay. That makes sense. FFmpeg command equals all this. I guess, can you pass? We're going to find out. Nope, you got to do, you can do three of the little ones, right? It's angry in like six different ways. Oh, there it goes. Can you do this? So this will be temp input. This will be the MP3 path. This will be the final output. But we also need 
MP3 duration. Which is going to go here. But we want duration. We want integer of duration minus four. Uh, minus four? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see what happens. All right. That seems very fraught. Especially I'm trying this new format with it too, So, but we'll see what happens. Though when you take all the stuff out, it isn't quite as bad. Uh, we can get back to it. Um, but here's one way to find out. So... Oh, the other thing I need to do... Oh yeah, it skips. It skips if it exists. Video already exists at dot format for Matt. Okay, so this actually should tell me it already exists. Video already exists. Okay, cool. Nice. Fades from music. Where is our uh, smoke test for this? Output videos, hyperspeed, go away. Cross your fingers, everybody. Doing a thing. Hey, good dude, how's it going? Uh, it is Pie Charm. Um, which I think is by Jet. Somebody, Jet Brains. Sorry, my video, my videos, my videos rendering computers right now. Um, I'm coming close to the end of my evening. Uh, Jet Brains. Yeah, and then I I tweaked around with the uh, with the colors on a little bit. It has a nice high contrast theme, but it wasn't high contrasty enough for me, so. I kicked it in there a little bit, so. Uh, are you, so you said Eclipse, do you do Java stuff? Or NetBeans? Oh, finished with code one. Ah. No such file or directory temp. Why didn't it make the temp one? Child process, uh oh. Version failed. Oh, 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 I thought I know what happened. The, I forgot about this. The, you can't have a transition that's longer than the clip. Oh, but those are only one second. Um, I really don't know why that didn't work because none of the, yeah, none of the clips are less, clips aren't allowed to be less than three seconds and the transition was one second. I'm concerned now. FFmpeg concat 42.91 seconds. Concat error, exit with code one, error reinitializing filters. Failed to inject frame into filter network and valid argument. Error processing decoder dance room. Okay. Uh, crap. All right, we're gonna try it one more time. And then I th it may be something with that. It's, I mean, the code that we just changed was adding in those fades, right? So that worked on one set of files, which were built with concat. So I don't know why that wouldn't work. 
I actually hope it fails, because if it doesn't fail, that means it's inconsistent, and that's going to be tricky. I don't like inconsistent stuff. The waiting for the video processing game. Everybody's favorite. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, I'm also zoned because it's time for me to zone out, basically. And now it's rendering. See, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I maybe should have copied down those errors and Googled them. That is not something that I did. But if this if this gets us fades, then we've made progress. There's our temp file. So some progress. And now we wait. Uh, what was the other thing we're going to do? So I can just close that test. That's fine. The assemblers doesn't do anything here, so that's fine. Yeah, so I need to add randomization to the clips here, which that wouldn't be too bad. Transition types equals, we'll make our list. Um, I don't remember where I listed those things. They are in the scratch pad. Transition samples, make transition samples. Oh, so that was everything. Where's the list of just the ones that I wanted to do? I may have lost that list. I think I lost that list. Crap. Let me close some of these. So downloader is in good shape. I want to add. So right now the URLs get turned into hashes for file names. I actually want to stick a file in there that says what the original URL was. I don't have that at the moment. Um, Splitter is doing its thing. That's cool. I was thinking about running, actually having it do the splitting, but I'm not. I'm going to have it just do its thing and then we'll ro ro roll from there. Because um, otherwise I'd have to go back and reprocess a whole bunch of stuff and I'd rather not do that because I've been processing for a day. So that's pretty good. Hey, we're halfway there. Living on a thing. Uh, let's see. So make transition samples. Yeah, I guess I didn't go through. I need to go through the list again, I guess. So here's all the ones that are available. which we can put here. Changes and types. Uh, so do I have random already in here? Oh, come on. Unable to find suitable output format for 104. 104 invalid argument. What was the command? Please tell me I printed the command. I did. Where's 104 showing up? 
Shortest, one of four. What? Okay. So somehow I didn't put in... Oh, I know what I did. Crap. I didn't actually put in the placeholders for the duration when I put in the duration here and here. And I actually need to do it twice. So we'll do that. Nope, just need to do it once. I lied. But we need to put that right here. Because it must be a 108 second thing. 104, I kind of want to do 4 point, can you do 4.5? No, 3.5. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I'll just change stuff all the time. All right, one more time and then we're gonna call it. Probably, except I really want to see it work. All right, and while it's doing that, we can come back here and mess with this. So there are all the transitions. Transition is going to be transition types, random. So it's a list. So from zero to length of transition types. This is kind of gross, I know. So that'll give us the transition. Yeah, you can put all that stuff on there. And then I kind of want to do a random duration, which I guess, yeah, you could just totally pick a random. No ah, no, I want to wait the durations. I also want to wait the transitions at some point, but like this will be enough to start with. Um, I'll do that as a tone test, not on this one or not tonight. Yeah, so transitions can't be longer than the clips. Make sure transitions aren't longer. Then clips, which are currently limited to three seconds. All right, transcoding, doing its thing. Let's see if we actually have it all lined up today. Where is, oh, so I can actually close one of these in a minute. Um, Python random choices, how you do the waiting. I don't know how to do the waiting. So like we've got all these transitions that we can use. Some of them are kind of far out there, which I wouldn't mind using one. So some of them I'm just not gonna use because I don't like the way they look. Some of them are kind of far out there, which I don't mind using, but I want to use them very sparingly. So there's choices, population weights, come weights, all right. K equals one, okay. Return to K size list of elements chosen from the population with replacements. If the population is empty, raises index error, okay. Selections are made according to the relative weights. Alternatively, cum weight, I'm guessing. Sequence is given. The selections are made according to the cumulative weights. Perhaps computed using better tools accumulate, okay. For example, relative weights 10535 are equivalent to the cumulative weights 10, 15, 45, 50. Oh, okay. 10 plus 5 is 15, plus 30 is 45, plus 5 is 50. Okay. Uh, 
uh, entry of the relative weights are converted to cumulative weights before making selections, so supplying cumulative weights saves work. Okay. If neither weights nor cumulative weights are specified, selection is made with equal probability. If weight sequence, okay, I get it, I get it, All right. Behavior is undefined, negative, okay, for seed. Choices function with equal weighting typically produce the same thing. Whoa. Are they angry at you? Because if so, I don't know you. I mean, I don't know you. Who are you? I've never seen you before. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I got you. Nice. That because if they're if the internet is after you, that's I don't want to know you. <laughs> Sorry, but like <laughs> I would be distancing myself. I'd have to ban you. Sorry, you understand, right? Um. Oh, is it working? Hey, it looks like it might be working this time. See, this is my one problem with the Python documentation. It's like it goes through all this stuff, but like, show me an example. Why isn't that there? <laughs> right. I, uh, I don't exactly live in fear of angering the horde, but I don't want to stumble into angering the horde. Because that would just be not a good time. At all. Choices method. All right, let's see what this got. Oh, what is the K value? Returns a K size list of elements with population. From population to replacements. So, oh, okay. So it gives you a list of five. Well, if I just, my list. I think I get this. Yeah, Apple should show up a bunch more. And then double changes every time. Attention geek strength, blah, blah, blah. This is not helpful at all. Like, I, I, under, I understand what's happening now, but like. So if you just want to get one random thing, you would just do a list of one, right? So I should do this in Scratchpad, but I'm super fading. Process finished. All right, let's see if our fades are there. And if so, I'm going to fade. Oh, that's a good look. It's a good luck. I'm getting pretty excited about this. Yeah, so right now it's doing the circle wash a bunch and it has a very limited number of uh, bunch of things in there, but that's pretty good. And the timing's not bad either because the, the clips aren't too long. Yeah, it called itself twice. And then does it fade out is the real question. Should be right about here and it should go all the way to black, right? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, so I need to actually let up on that a little bit. Um, sweet. That was way more work than it should have been because something went sideways in there, but that is okay. Duration minus four, four. So duration is always gonna be, so if we int it, so it'll be more than that at the most. Okay, that's got it. That's got it. So the next, the, the last things to do there are, and this won't take that long, I don't think. I wanna use a random choices for the transition so that it's different. And then I wanna put random times in for the transitions. So that they're different times. And that's, I think that's it. Where's my other little note? I've had a note up earlier today. Random clips, fade in, fade out, do random transitions. Oh, reduce clips to 10 seconds. Yeah, so that's, I need to, that's just feeding the machine more. But like, those are done. Er, this one's done. This one's half done. Because I've got, so they're random right now. I just want to like, ran, I want to wait the randomization and then randomize the times. Weighted randomize the times. Um, but that's cool. That's basically, that's light at the end of the tunnel stuff right there is what that is. Uh, I'm excited about that. Not quite ready to turn it on, but getting there. You're going to back off from being a mod until Fort Jenga's goes away? Yeah, I... I can't see anything wrong with your logic at all in that. Also, I'm going to run away right now because I have uh, exhausted my supply of energy for the day. So stay safe. Don't piss off the angry horde and uh, keep your head down. <laughs> cool. All right. See you all. Take it easy.